everyone and welcome to daily newspaper analysis which is brought to you by Los Eco. So today we have only one article for our discussion which has been taken from the Hindu newspaper. The title of this article is the Russia-Germany pipeline controversy. So this talks about the pipeline which is there for the natural gas and the name of this pipeline is the Nord Stream 2. So what is it about and uh, why actually there is a controversy that has been developed around this pipeline by the other members of Europe as well as USA. We'll be discussing in this article. This is an important topic when it comes to the international law. So this newspaper analysis has been presented by me. My name is Sheva Khan. Uh, I am a BA LLB law graduate and I have completed my law degree from Uttaranchal University. It's there in Uttarakhand and I completed my graduation in the year 2019 with a gold medal in my batch. I've also been a national debater and a public speaker and right now at Law Seco I'm working as an expert for current affairs and I'm also the manager for current affairs vertical. Let's see what is the multiple choice question from our previous discussion. Which of the following is or are a kind or kind of online gaming? Your options are esports, fantasy sports, online casual games or all of the above. This is a descriptive question for the day. What do you know about the Nord Stream 2 pipeline? How will it benefit Russia and Germany? So here, before we start with the discussion, let's just go through, you know, try to understand how the map works for the Nord Stream 2. So basically the Nord Stream 2 uh, pipeline, which is the pipeline for the natural gas, it starts uh, from two points in Russia, that is Vyborg and Usluga. And from these two points, it crosses all the way, or it goes all the way through the Baltic Sea and it reaches Greece Wall, which is there in Germany. So basically it surpasses significantly any other member and, you know, due to the geographical advantage that Russia and Germany have, they share a border through or, uh, you know, getting through the Baltic Sea, due to which they have crossed or they have managed to not bother any other member of the European Union, you know, any other European country. And it has not even surpassed Ukraine for that matter. So that is why for Russia and Germany, ideally, this is a very good pipeline. This is a very good geographical setup because it will see now no interference or no other country will be able to interfere when it comes to this pipeline. Let's understand. So now here, uh, like uh, theoretically as well. So Russia will supply natural gas to Germany by building a pipeline from under the Baltic Sea, as we just discussed. So here the supplier would be Russia and the one getting the supplies would be Germany. So this will avoid transit of the natural gas through Ukraine and other European countries. So as we were just discussing here, due to their geographical advantage, Russia and Germany will be able to do this. And Russia has completely surpassed uh, any other European Union country or even Ukraine for that matter in uh, such of this process. So Ukraine has called this out to be a dangerous geopolitical weapon. Now, how has, has it been or, or why is it uh, doing so or why Ukraine has this contention is because here Russia and Germany will have sort of an absolute control over this pipeline and no matter what or no matter in any situation any other country would be able to put any kind of even say let's say positive pressure also on Russia or Germany if in case it is required in the any coming uh, international transaction so that, that is why it says that having such absolute control on the international waters you know is something uh, that is not very healthy for the entire system. So complexities around the project are also there. Firstly, the, uh, the pipeline stream, which is called as the Nord Stream 2, has been claimed to be economically more viable by the Russian president. Yes, of course it is, because otherwise, if it were to pass from other countries, maybe some kinds of taxes, permissions had to be taken uh, or you know given uh, in case of taxes. But here, definitely, it is very much uh, of a viable option when it comes to Russia being a supplier of the natural gas to Germany. So recently, USA also imposed financial sanctions on any European Union organization that went forward with the completion of the project. So USA has said that if at all there will be any EU or the European Union organization that goes to cooperate with this particular project, so they will have to face sanctions because of two reasons. Firstly, that the completion of the pipeline would give Russia a major influence over the European energy supply market. Please note here that USA and Russia are not in good relations since the times of, you know, uh, since the 
uh, cold war as well and the world war as well so we know that they are kind of an anti of each other and usa has a specific act which is called as cartsa which is countering america's adversaries through sanction act so if at all any country tries to be friendly or tries to cooperate or tries to go in you know great business with any of the adversaries of usa and here for example the adversary here we have is russia so that country will have to face sanctions from united states of america and similar steps the usa is taking because if at all this pipeline is completed so russia will have a an immense or a major influence over the european energy supply market and definitely it will not be liked by usa for another reason that the demand for liquefied natural gas which was earlier being fulfilled by usa it would significantly fall because now russia will be in a position to become a very feasible supplier and that is why it will not be encouraged by us so the disputes over the pipeline take place at a time when germany has announced to shift a renewable shift to renewable energy so germany is actually shifting to renewable sources of energy and that is why natural gas was one of the very good sources that it could rely upon so russia is being blamed for intentional decrease in gas supplies in europe as due to this there or you know due to the less providing of the uh, gas supplies to the europe the wholesale prices of the energies have actually doubled in the year 2021 let's also consider that what is the present situation that's going on around the nord stream 2 pipeline so in november 2021 germany's network regulator suspended the certification process for the nord stream 2 so here also some issues are being faced now the certification process that we are talking about has now been suspended till the half of 2022 and of course and not until it is cert the certification process is completed we cannot move further with this project so the nord stream 2 ag which is basically the company that is making the pipeline has already opened a subsidiary entity in germany to deal with the german end of the manufacturing process so that the process can become smooth and the chances of repetition of 2014 The, uh, the and the russia's invasion of ukraine has created tension between russia and nato allies now all of us know about the time of 2014 when russia had actually annexed or it had actually you know invaded ukraine and due to which now russia is now in tension with the other nato that is the north atlantic treaty organization allies So some European Union leaders have also called for stronger actions against the controversial pipeline as it is not liked by them as well and the chances of its cancellation are also high if the military tension between the states escalate in the coming times. So let's see what would be the future uh, you know uh, prospect that we have for this Nord Stream 2 pipeline. Now if we talk about India so India does not really have any direct stake over there but yes you know India has to also look forward as to uh, how much will USA be able to put on the sanctions that we are talking about but because recently USA was also in talks you know that it would put on such sanctions on India as well because we were to procure the S400 missile system from Russia again so let's see that you know uh, it's it's an interesting part for India as well to look into the coming times that what will be the you know process or what will be the plan of action that USA Russia and other uh, dependent countries take in this direction so this was all for the day we hope it was a good session for you all thank you so much for staying tuned with law seco if you wish to download the pdf of today's slides uh, please uh, be a participant in our telegram channel the link is there in the description box below or you can scan the qr code that you can see on your screens right now also please do not forget to follow us on our official instagram channels for judiciary clat as well as ugc net and other law finance exams as well if you liked it please give it a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe to our channels thank you so much